Continuing our series of solving equations questions, these questions are uh, questions that have variables on both sides of the equal sign. So for these questions, the very first step is exactly the same as it would be anywhere else, which is draw the line. Of course, when I draw the line, I want to draw it down that equal sign. That separates the problem into two separate parts. That way I know if I'm going to be doing something on one side of the line that I'm going to do whatever operation that the, is shown in the problem. If I'm going to move something across or eliminate something, I need to do the opposite operation. So that's sort of important. The next step would be baby goes bathroom. If you don't know what that means and you haven't seen any of the other videos, then you should probably go back and check one of them out. Uh, it refers to distributive property. There's no distributive property in the ones that we do today, so we'll be able to skip past it. The next one is clean your room. When I say clean your room, I mean combine any like terms that happen to be on the same side of, the equi on, of that line that we've just drawn. In this case, I've got 2n on the left side and n plus 8 on the right side. None of those are like terms that are on the same side of the line, like n and 8 are not like terms. And 2n is all by itself. There's nothing you can do. The next step is the one that's new, and we refer to it as pork chops and applesauce. There used to be an episode of this show called The Brady Bunch, you may have seen it, uh, where the two younger brothers, Peter and Bobby, have to share a room. So they, in order to separate the room into equal parts, they use a tape line to draw a line all the way down the room. So all of Bobby's stuff is on one side and all of Peter's stuff is in the other. The reminder here is that at this point that we are in the equation that we're given, we have a variable term on both sides. We've got two n on the left and an n on the right. So pork chops and applesauce reminds us that we need to make uh, some sort of motion to move all of the variable terms to one side and all of the integer terms to the other. So that's what we're going to be doing next. So let's go ahead and do that. I need to move, uh, or actually I need to eliminate one of the n terms on its side of the equation and do the same thing to both sides. And I'll show you what that means in just a second. 8 is already on the right side, so I'm just going to move this n. This is plus n because the n is uh, an add-subtract relationship with the 8. In order to get rid of plus n, I need to subtract n. So now this side just has the 8 on it, which is what I wanted. The thing about math is if you do something to one side of the line, other than combining like terms, you must do it to the other. So when I got rid of that minus n on the, on the right side, I need to do it on the left. And 2 minus 1 would be just 1. So my final answer for this question is n equals 8. We'll go ahead and finish through the series so you can see the other steps in case you've forgotten them. The fifth step is parties over, which is where you have one uh, variable term and a number or an integer on one side and one uh, number term on the other an integer on the other side. And you want to move the thing that's furthest away from the end. We'll probably have one so you'll get to see parties over. And the last step is of course finish it. In this step, or in this problem, pork chops and applesauce pretty much finished it. Because once you moved it you got n is equal to 8. So let's look at another problem related to this same exact topic. So I'm going to clear all this off real fast skip to the next problem. This one's a bit longer. So steps still apply. First step is draw your line. Since we're not doing distributive property, there's no baby goes bathroom. But there is a clean your room. As you can see on the left side, I have two ones there. I have a, a one in front of the 3V and one after. If something is on the same side of the line, you want to combine it in the way that the original description is given. So it's kind of like a story. Once upon a time, one plus one. So I do one plus one, these together, and I get plus 2. Bring down my 3v and then on the other side I just bring everything down because I don't need it yet. Because there's no like terms. A variable term and an integer or non-variable term are not like terms. It's like apples and oranges. Now I'm at pork chops and applesauce so I'm going to get rid of my v on the right side that whole term. So in order to get rid of minus 4v I'm going to add 4v. The reason I don't divide here by the way is there's this minus next to the 12. Unless I had parentheses around the 12, uh, I just assume it's an add-subtract relationship. So I look at the sign in front of the number to see what I do or what I need to do to eliminate it. So it is negative 4v per se, but I could treat it like a minus 4 because that's the relationship that it has with 12. So I add 4v and those eliminate. Uh, I add 4v over here as well. And I need to make sure that I do it to the v. And once again, apples and oranges, you can't combine them together.
Now I'm at parties over. At parties over, uh, I am V. I need to be uh, get everybody out of the party. It's time for them to leave. So I'm going to eliminate the people who aren't close to me at all, which would be the plus two. That seven is right next to me. I'm probably friends with that guy. So I'm going to get rid of plus two by subtracting two on both sides. 7V. And then I do negative 12 minus 2 and I get negative 14. Divide by 7 on both sides. And my final answer is V is equal to negative 2. We will do one more of these and I think that will be enough to make a reasonable point about the problems. See if I can find a half decent one. That one's lame. That one's alright. Let's do this one. This one isn't great but it's not terrible. In this situation I'm going to draw my line because that's the first step. There's no baby goes bathroom, but there is a clean your room. Uh, in this question, on the right side of the line, I have that 6x and that 4x. Since they're on the same side, just read the story. Once upon a time, 6x minus 4 would give me 2x. Bring down that 7. 7 over here. Now I have pork chops and applesauce, so I need to get rid of one of the x's. You can move either one, by the way. In fact, I'll do it the opposite way than we've been doing it, just so you can see it. In order to get rid of minus 3x, or plus 3x, I need to subtract 3x. If I do it over there, I've got to do it on the right side as well. Draw the line. Bring down, or not draw the line, but mark those out. Bring down 7. Bring down this 7. 2 minus 3 is negative 1x. Now I'm at parties over. I'm going to eliminate plus 7. Now it looks like I might do treat it like a minus 7 because there's a minus there. But you have to look in front of the number. So instead of doing uh, using this minus here, I'm going to think, oh, this is really plus 7. In order to get rid of it, I need to subtract. I don't divide because the x is not touching it. So there's no multiply to get rid of yet. 7 minus 7 um, is 0. And I'm left with 0 equals negative 1x, which is a time situation. In order to get rid of times, I need to divide. This is the finish it step. It's the last one. And 0 divided uh, by anything would just be 0. So I do x is equal to 0. By the way, if 0 is on the bottom, that's something totally different. And it may be uh, we can get to that at some point, but it shouldn't have happened here. Uh, you shouldn't get 0x. But if you do, it's a no solution real numbers. And hopefully I'll make another video about no solution and real numbers. But this is the basic idea of how to solve equations with variables on both sides when there is no distributive property.